Welcome to LAVO's VSM video training series on panel building. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how to create additional pages by using the page copy feature. And also, we'll look at the shift key and how we can use that to jump between pages back and forth and look at different sources displayed on buttons that way. So what we've created in the last video is how to look at what's going into our frame synchronizers in other words, what sources are routed into what targets by looking simply at a single page. Notice that there's an additional display source feature. It's called display source only. You can see that in the properties drop down of the button. We have to be very careful using this because if you're looking at targets and are only showing sources on the buttons, that could be very confusing. In effect, you would have a green button or target showing what really should be shown on a purple or source button. So typically we do not use the display source only functionality. However, there is another way. Let's say that you have very small buttons on your panel and you don't have a lot of room for any legend at all. In that case, what we would do is create a separate page and only when you're looking at that page via a temporary method such as what's called the shift key will you see the sources on the target button. Let's take a closer look at what we mean by this. Let's say that we've decided that we want our page 4, currently frame syncs, to be at the end of our pages. Perhaps let's call it page 8. Do we have to renumber the page manually? No, not at all. VSM will do it automatically for us as we move it along the order. You'll see. What we do is with frame sync 4, tab number 4 open, we simply click the move button and move it to the right. Before we change the page number, let's look at the frame sync target and source buttons. Notice they're both currently assigned to page 4. When we move it, VSM will automatically change that for us. When we click Move, we'll watch the tab as it moves from the left to the right, incrementing a number, and the numbers on the FrameSync navigation buttons will also increment as the tab moves upward, from 4 to 8. Now the navigation buttons automatically point to page 8. This is a handy feature within VSM. It's intelligence recalculating as needed as you build and insert additional pages. It's easier to keep track of the pages that way when VSM does it for you. It's also useful when you're renaming pages or deleting pages. So now our frame sync navigation page is on the eighth page. Now let's change what we did in the previous video and put all these frame sync targets back to showing only their destination number on the button legend. Perhaps we're doing this because the button panel that this would normally run on has very limited space. Every installation is different. So remember we talked about looking at all the sources in place of the actual target name. We did say that that's dangerous, but what if you only have it momentarily, perhaps when you're pressing another button? In that case, we would use what we call the shift button. The shift button allows you to navigate to a separate page only while you're holding the button down. When you release the button, you go back to the page that you were originally at before you press the shift button. Before we do that, let's just take another quick look at what we've just created by changing our page numbers. We go down into our button panel and click frame sync, and notice we're back to looking at our target names, even though it's on page 8 now. Everything's working just fine. So what we have to do is make a new page where we can map the source names on top of the target buttons. We could recreate the panel manually, which would take quite a long time and be prone to errors, or we simply use the panel copy function. So let's do the latter. It'll be quick and easy. With FrameSync page 8 opened up, we just click the copy button. Voila! VSM just made page 9. It looks identical and in fact is identical to page 8, only it's a copy of page 8. Now we'll go into the frame sync targets and tell each one of these to display the source only. That way we'll see what is routed into these frame syncs instead of the frame sync target name. You probably won't need to do this type of thing on a software panel because on a hardware panel that's where your space is limited. On software panels you can change your button sizes and the font quality is usually reproducible a lot better on a computer screen than it is on a hardware button panel. So on page 8 we're going to add what's called the shift key and that will be a button that we assign to navigate temporarily to page 9 while it's being pressed. First let's go into our panel editor button toolbox and find the shift key. It's over here and it looks like this. We'll left click it once to add it to our mouse and then click inside the group of the targets for frame sync page 8. And let's assign it to page 9. Again this is momentary. 
The word shift means something to all of us now, but to the operator it really doesn't. So it's time to go in and change the label for this button. Of course we do that by right clicking on it and editing the bitmap. We'll uncheck use default image because we're actually trying to avoid that and come up with something a little clearer. Let's just type show sources. And remember that we can kind of click and drag our legends a little bit on this grid depending on what radio button we select and make it look a little bit neater. And now it says show sources. Now in a VSM panel on the FrameSync page, there's the show sources button. And when we click it by left clicking and holding with our mouse, the page is actually jumping to page nine. It looks identical in every single way, except now we're looking at the sources as they are assigned to the FrameSync targets instead of the FrameSync target names themselves. When we release the button, VSM goes back to page eight and we're back to looking at the target names. Again, you'll probably use this on hardware panels more than you'll use this on a software panel, but your installations are always going to be different and you never know.